that um that bird that I missed was over on that tower ridge. Yeah. So I was set up. He has a food plot. I don't know how, maybe two acres. But I was at the corner of it, tram road behind me, facing the field. And I'm set up, decoy down, tucked in, purring real soft. And I had uh, a gobbler going on the other side of the food plot. He might have been maybe 80 to 90 yards. Yeah. So he's calling and I'm, I'm pumped up. And I catch movement on the high wall to my left. And there's a hen walking down the spine of the high wall with a gobbler behind her. And I'm like, okay, well, that's out of range. Don't even worry about it. I got this bird over here. So I keep calling. And about three, three to four minutes later, I heard something behind me. And I kind of just peeked with the corner of my eye back over my shoulder. And that gobbler strutting down the high wall to me and I'm facing the opposite direction I'm like I mean it wasn't I mean I should have just ignored that and kept calling to the bird that was answering yeah but I got excited tried to twist the whole way around like this leaned on my side had my gun not perfectly in my shoulder yeah. and he was strutting around Force strutting it. around and he started to kind of work back up the high wall and I'm like he's gonna leave so I forced a shot and clean whiff I mean, I guess, and then you play 2,000 different ideas through your mind, what could I have done different, but but it was a cool hunt, and I I wouldn't change that for the world, but I really wanted that one. <laughs> Let me yeah. show you this real quick. So we're at that blue dot. Those birds were walking this part of the field right here. Last night. Last night. 7.45. At 7.45, yeah. Lord, which, which way were they going? I took a picture when they were right here, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to go look for more. Lauren said she'd keep an eye on them. She said they worked the whole way around to this uh, shed over here. Okay. And then they worked back across, and at 7.45, they were right here. So, my thought... Well, it doesn't get dark till like 8. No. 15. But I don't see them going the whole way back out around this. I see Are them there... wrapping around this ridge because they usually roost in here somewhere. Okay. So I'm thinking we get back to this corner. That corner. Yeah, because we'll be able to hear the birds over here. We'll be able yeah. to hear the birds here and potential. And if nothing, gob, we, we wing it. But I say we get there. We don't necessarily have to set up 100% tucked in. Right. Wait till we hear a gobble and, and then, then try and make and a play from up. there. Are you cool yeah. with that? Yep. Okay. So, so you want them to think they're going this way and just to follow them on a rope out. Okay. Very cool.
there was three in the field last night. I think it's behind us. I, yeah, we gotta stay put. We're gonna have to break down in through this hard ones, but if they're in that field below the house, there's a tram road that cuts into the back corner of that field down the road. So we'll see if we can get it Yeah. Off. Where is Sally?
figured he was just gonna work his way out around, just let him come. Son of a gun. Those, those other gobblers are in the field below the house. Oh, but Lauren texted me, said she had three deer run between the house and the woods there, yeah. and turkeys followed them. So I don't know if they just followed them. I don't think we spooked those birds. I'm curious what happened here, though. He long deer? Yeah. He was, I, I had my gun like this on the other side of that tree, and he needed to take one more step, and and I was pulling the trigger. I was like... Yeah. No, my yeah, my gun was on the other side of that sapling right there, and I didn't want to swing it and move it to him because I knew he'd see that. He's done it and blasted him. Not hesitating. Yeah. Oh well. But I thought the way he the way he was working out, I thought we were golden. Left my phone up there. Well. That's why they call it hunting and not getting, boys. That was pretty freaking cool, though.